your children enter your life, your first instinct is to protect them. As an infant, these things are pretty simple. Things like feeding them and keeping them warm and their diapers fresh. As they enter the toddler years, it's keeping them from putting forks in the light sockets and teaching them to eat their vegetables. But you know, once they enter school, you've lost some of that primary influence on them. They become more immersed on what other kids their own age are doing. As the years fly by and they enter middle school, high school, and perhaps college, you know they are going to have to make their own decisions in choosing friends, underage drinking, studying, and eating habits. You pray that they make good decisions, but wonder how you can have a meaningful impact on these decisions. The answer is simple. Eat meals with them. How is it that simple? It is that simple because studies have proven that children who eat meals with their families have better communication with them, are less likely to engage in destructive behaviors, and have more nutritious diets than those children who do not eat with their families. So this begs the question, why? First, focus, focusing on communication, let's examine why eating together improves communication. Depending on your particular youngster, and especially as they get older, getting them to speak to you can be like pulling teeth. You ask, how was your day? And the answer is fine, as they walk straight past you to turn on the television, put their iPod on, or fry up the latest video game. Often, if you press them, you can expect patented teenage eye roll or the accusatory, quit pestering me. Eating a meal together often removes the impression of interrogation. It provides an opportunity for two-way or nine-way in our household conversation. It also lets parents teach healthy communication without distractions from cell phones, televisions, computers, and iPods. By engaging your children in conversation, you teach them to listen as well as a chance to provide them to speak and express their own opinions. This also allows your children to have an active voice within your family. According to a study completed by the University of Florida, conversations at the dinner table also expand the vocabulary and reading ability of children, regardless of socioeconomic status. These skills will serve them well no matter which path they take in life. And most importantly, since children are inundated with endless information, it provides them a safe place to develop their own feelings and opinions of all of this information. Whether it be a serious topic such as war or a silly topic such as Lady Gaga. Next, let's discuss what developmental benefits can be achieved through eating together. The sense of security and togetherness provided by family meals helps nurture children into healthy and well-rounded adults in a way that lecturing them never could. And according to the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University, frequent family dinners have a positive impact on children's internal qualities such as values, motivation, personal identity, and their self-esteem. This positive impact on a child in turn makes the child more likely to understand, acknowledge, and follow boundaries set by their parents. A decrease in high-risk behavior such as smoking, drug abuse, and underage drinking can also be correlated to how much time is spent with family, and meals are a good way to sneak in this extra time. The dinner table also provides an open forum to discuss what other children are doing, good and bad, and what your children's thoughts are on the subject. I know personally this happens in our family. Once, one of the boys mentioned that the drug dogs were at their high school for dare week and that a student was caught with drugs. This provided a non-lecture way to discuss drug use and their thoughts on it and even who they knew that abuses drugs or alcohol. This approach is much more effective than saying, hey, who are the druggies at your school? The last proven benefit that eating together as a family provides is that you follow a more nutritious diet. Eating dinner together as a family encourages healthy eating habits and provides children a model to carry into, with them into adulthood. Why is that important? Statistics show that nearly 1 in 5 children aged 6 to 19 in the U.S. are overweight. This could lead to health problems such as heart disease, high blood pressure, and type 2 diabetes as they become adults. Studies have shown that family dinners increase the intake of fruits and vegetables, and those families who eat dinner together 
tend to eat fewer, fewer fried foods, fast food, and drink less soda. Family meal frequency is also linked to the healthy intake of protein, calcium, and certain vitamins. Though in my real life, it may be hard to carve out time to eat together with six kids, my husband, and my father in our household, in between play practice, basketball practice, guitar lessons, debate tournaments, and forensic tournaments, and so on, our family does just that. We make time to eat together several nights a week. As you have learned today, eating as a family on a regular basis has numerous benefits, such as better communication with your children, developmental benefits, such as reducing the likelihood of drug and alcohol abuse, and nutritional benefits that can make them healthier adults. So tonight, when you get home, put the TV trays away, and tomorrow, bring the family back to the dinner table. Thank you.